Hi everyone, welcome to the KA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and on today's video, we're going to keep creating our own sh shell scripts functions in order to increase our productivity. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and mark the bell so you can receive the notifications. Right? I'll be posting the videos uh, for the links for the previous videos related to Java and shell script, so you can keep it up uh, with the whole content that I've been creating. So let me show you what we're going to be doing now, right? So I have a, a framework called OhMySSH, which is a framework that helps me a lot to customize my, customize my terminal experience. I'm not going to be talking about uh, how to set up and what it does right now. I'll be doing that in, an, in a future video, but I'm going to be specifically talking about the aliases of OhMySSH. OhMySSH has a lot of aliases. If you look at the documentation, all of these are aliases. And if you look specifically to Git, it's a lot of, only all of these are Git's aliases, right? And when I started using uh, OhMySSH, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to be able to use some of those aliases, the, the speci specifically the alias that I use, the, the command, the git commands that I use the most. But it was a hard time for me to learn those because I would either have to have a separate uh, file with those aliases or anytime that I, that I needed an alias, I would have to come here to this website and search for it. So it would take it was taking a, a quite some time for me to, uh, I needed a command on the terminal when, when I was doing it, right? So for me to leave the terminal, stop what I, I was doing, to go to a website to just learn the alias, it, did, it didn't seem like uh, a, good, a good effort to do it, right? So I, would just, I was just using the, the plain git commands, right? So what I did was I created a function to help me see those aliases, right? So the first thing that I did is I learned where those aliases are, right? And I have here a, the file here. So basically the file is on this folder, oh my sh plugin git, git.plugin.sh. If I cat here, you're going to see that there are a lot of aliases, right? There's another one called uh, lead directory two, which is this one that has also all the aliases. This is has all the aliases related to other stuff from OhMySSH. So I wanted to be able to do this, and we already learned this. This is pretty straightforward. That I can do cat, and I can do pipe grep. Uh, let's do commit is going to bring me all the commands that has commit and I would learn the alias here but this is a pretty big command to to be directory to type I wanted something quicker right something that I would just say what I want to search and I was going to search for me specifically on that file so this is what we're going to be doing right now right? so we have the same file that we created in the last videos related to functions right so I'm going to create another function here called uh, let me call it cat grep all right because I'm, I'll be doing cat in a grep right so the first thing that I want to do is all right I want to be able to cat that file Right, so it was this any any of these two files. This one and this one. And I and I would be grabbing for the parameter that I would be passing. So this is basically it, right? So what I'm doing, I'm catting a file and grabbing for the first parameter. 
and I'm doing that on those file, on those two files. So I need to resource, as we already learned, I'm reloading the function. And what I can do now is I can do uh, cat grep. So let me clean here, cat grep. And I'm going to be passing commit. Sorry, I need to be on the bash. Cat grep commit. So now I have I have found everything on that commit, right? On, on those aliases. If I want a bigger command, I'll just put as a string, right? Because if I do git commit, it's going to search both for git and commit, and I don't want to do that. So I can just do cat grep git commit and it's going to be passing those two things are in string as the first parameter so it's going to be found it's, it's going to find uh, those as one single uh, parameter All right so now that's so did this is make did this made my life much easier because if I want to learn uh, a command for doing commit uh, I, I do this a lot so this is git commit dash n and this is just gcmsg and i'll be I, I do that command a lot so we i can do the other way around right so i let's say i i want to know what uh gs gsta does and gsta does git stash right this is basically a git stash uh, command and i have all this the possibility of doing git stash all or, or or anything that I want to do, right? Uh, so yeah, that's for me that that's been great because now when I'm typing, when I'm when I need something, I can do cat grab and commit, and now I have the list of all those aliases, right? And that's fresh. And what I mean by fresh, whenever there is a new alias, that command is looking to the file as long as my oh my sh is up to date. As soon as I do a cat grab there, it's going to be finding the actual file. I don't have to come here and wait for somebody to update the, a, a, a web page. I, I'm actually looking to the file itself. So it's going to be always up to date. But, right, there is also a command. There is also, uh, I use a lot, cat properties, grab, I don't know, something property. And it's going to look for that property, right? So since I'm, I created a command called cat grab, why not make that possible to use with this command here, right? So what was the difference between this cat that I did with the other one that we just did, right? The one that we just created is the actual oh my sh files are hard coded. I don't need to pass it. So the command already knows that it's going to be looking for that one specifically. This one, cat and the file, I need to send the file that I'm, uh, 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 I need to send two parameters, right? The first parameter is the file, and the second parameter is the, is the string that I'm looking for. So this is how we're going to differentiate the numbers of parameters that I have sent to the command and if the first parameter is a file it needs to be a file otherwise there is no reason to cat something that is not a file right so this is what we're going to do this this is going to be the default option i just need to send the first parameter right so the first thing that i'm going to do is the amount of uh parameters that i sent Right? If I send two, I, I don't want to search the all my SH. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. So if I send two parameters, two, and we learned this by uh, in, in, in last video by the 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 hash sign, right? So if the amount, this is a total of parameters sent, if the amount of parameters sent is greater than, this is GT, greater than 1, bigger than 1, 
right? And this needs to be a file. So there is a specific command for, uh, for that. So I'm going to put an end and dash E is going to evaluate if that parameter is a file. So, and if the first parameter is a file, so we send to cat and the filter. And if the first one is a file, right? So I'm going to do then, and I'm going to close my if. So if that's the case, what I want to do is I want to cat the first parameter and grab the second parameter. So I'm going to cat the first parameter and I'm going to grab the second parameter. Right? Great. And if this is not the case, then this is going to be my else. And I can see put everything here. Okay. Let's see how that works. Resource, cat, grab, uh, property files, and property. It's there. And if I don't pass a file, I just pass a git command or whatever, cat, grab, push, it went to the other one. So let's take a look at here again. I'm sending two parameters. The first one, there are two cases here, right? The first parameter in this case is the cat for a file, which is going to print the file, and the second grab, which is going to end in the grab that's going to filter, right? So if the amount of parameters sent is more than one, meaning that I sent two parameters, and the first parameter is a file, then I want to cat that file and grab the string that I want to filter on. If this is not the case, I want to cat the all my, all my SH uh, specific files and grab by the first parameter which in this case is going to be a filter. So fairly easy. I was able to have a, a I was able to learn how to uh, the Git alias that I've been that I use most of the time, right? And there are a lot of a lot of these aliases that I don't use, so I I don't learn. I I, I don't bother. But the one that I use m most of it, I use the I use the Git alias, which help my productivity a lot. So this is basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you can be receiving the videos, mark that bell to receive the alerts. Uh, if you like it, please give the thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. For